Okay, there we go. And welcome to another installment of the Nova Team Podcast. This makes Hi. A, this officially makes number ten on the YouTube. You know, I'm gonna stop. Double dips. I'm gonna stop fighting with you on that. Okay, Whatever. no, yes, I know we've done over ten and stuff, but officially on our on the Nova Team YouTube, this when makes number on, ten. When it's put on okay? the internet, it has to be. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Because now there's enough alcohol in there to the point yes. where it doesn't lose the flavor of the alcohol and you can still taste it. Okay. Uh, oh, let's wait. do introductions. I'm David Olbert. Sean Petty. Patrick Ramirez. Skyler Davis. And we have no guests this week. <laughs> yeah, no guests. It's just <laughs> us. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I don't really care about guests. too damn much to hang out with us. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Well, she was opening today, so she was up at 5 in the morning. <clears throat> I was up at 5 this morning. Yeah, but you already slept until 6. <laughs> like, you're an insomniac. I know, I wasn't asleep till 6 p.m. I was Okay, in bed. you were in your bed. I didn't six. leave my bed. For well, you hours. do it in your bed till 6 was your business, okay? I'm I was hanging gonna... out. I'm ready for hookers. Dude, that's a lot of stuff. That could be taken several ways. Yeah. Wait, wait, let's see how many singles I got. So, Scour has like over $100 and simply Hold ones. It. I have a bunch of singles. Holy with me. shit! <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, there's Dang. change in there. That's why. He, he's got change for the hookers that don't please him as well. <laughs> but there's change in there. You can't put change in a G-string. But there's, there's a, a bunch thing. of ones. Dude, let's see how much ones I got. And I know that for a fact. <laughs> you tried? also 20s and 50s. Dude, I hate 50s. I love 50s, I mean, they're dude. cool and all, but there's a lot of places that are just like, we're not taking your 50s. It's like, won't take anything I know, I, 20. I, do, I did that twice already when I went to uh, Sonics. They don't well, take anything larger than a 20. You gotta go to well, single case if we get something that's... Really? Yeah, they took it's against their policy. They have signs up that they say, ch- we do not accept bills larger they than They took my 50s twice. Yeah, yeah and that a- person was off the ball. No, what, you gotta, awesome. what you gotta do then is go to a Circle K and simply buy one of the 85 cent drinks, but can give them a 50. Do what Adrian did. Go to KFC, buy one snacker, and hand them 100. Mm. <laughs> that is pretty good. If, if he's from I'm school. sure they would just I be thinking that you're like the biggest customer they I have. I have eight singles, ten bucks in change, and like eighty-five bucks in other bills. I've got singles oh, as well. Man. That's oh, that's reminds me, I got heartburn. Three hundred dollars in a bank account. <laughs> no, I got that. I need Tums. Okay, so one of the big things we were doing this podcast for was because Skyward said he had an idea. Remember? I should have wrote this you, down. Do you remember this idea of yours? Oh, I've I've been knowing about this idea for quite some time. Can I get a cigarette from you? I got a few left. I'll, I'll buy you a pack. I'll give you money. So he says. Thanks, man. All right. Anyways, go on about your game. All right. Mm-hmm. Anyways, okay. I already told Pat about this. Like oh, four what? times. Not four. T- well, what I told you about. Times? I described to you it once. Yeah. But it was pretty badly described because I stutter a lot when I'm trying to describe something. But I'll try to make this as simple as I can possibly make it. Basically, the whole concept of this is for us to be encouraged to get more achievements and to be competitive about it. I'm already doing that. Yeah, but it's going to help everybody else. What it is, it's called Achievement Challenge. Ba, 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 ba. Is that where you get all so many points in like a week? In a way, it's actually a month, but it's a different kind of point kind of thing. What it is, is that it involves two people challenging one another. The one person's like, I challenge thee. I'll yeah, challenge you, Adrian. Okay, so what, how it starts, I'm going to demonstrate on Pat. I'm going to go up to him right now, and I'm going to say, I challenge you. Hello, good sir. All right. So that's how it starts off. All right. Now, what you need to do is that uh, you need to challenge him to get a certain achievement. There are four levels of achievements. They're going to be leveled on bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. So think PSN. They're not really like a... It's well, isn't just that way- how the PSN was, though? Yeah, that's how the PSN was, and that's just a coincidence. It's just a good way to, like, a challenge kind of thing. It represents a challenge. If I challenge uh, Pat to a certain bronze achievement, a bronze achievement can be, like, a pretty simple one, a five-pointer. Ten-pointer. Like ten something pointer. small. It's something very simple that you can do. Bronze challenges can come up to three achievements. You once you challenge them, it can either be one or two or three, but they all have to be classified as a bronze achievement. Once you challenge them, they have to complete that challenge in under a week. If they do not, then I'll explain this. If they do get it, they get a, a certain amount of points. I've not come up with the points, but it's a pretty low points. It's just a number that we give them. If 
he does complete it, he gets the points. If he doesn't, I get the points. Oh. Now, uh, a, let's see, a silver is a bit harder. It can involve, like, playing the whole game, but in the most, like, lowest difficulty. Or it could be, like, a very simple achievement, but it has to qualify a couple of different things. It has to have some sort of achievement. But you can only give them one silver achievement. It's like playing Deuce X on Give Me a Challenge. Gold? is uh, pretty much beating the game or a very, very difficult achievement, but it has to be on a very high difficulty. It can either be on, like, the second hardest difficulty or the hardest difficulty. Platinum has to consist about beating the game or a playing the game at a certain amount of time. Or maxing achievements. Yes. The now, too. Yeah, basically. How a Platinum, like, uh, a ch- challenge would be uh, graded is that the two people will have to talk, but another person from outside the challenge has to come in and agree that this is legitimately a platinum challenge. Legendary alone. Legendary alone. <laughs> that probably... Hmm, yeah, that could probably... Maybe. It has to be debated. See, I, now, I, I can understand that, like... That or platinum would be lasso alone. Yeah, I mean, like the whole game, or... Yeah. Ooh, shit. Now, yeah. everyone has to... Anybody can contribute to this and all stuff. And uh, pretty much during that uh, time of the month and all stuff, once the month is over, everybody gives their points who has the highest wins. To what the prizes could be, we don't know. We might want to give something that's going to have high value in a way that from amongst the group. Good stuff. Good stuff. But it's going to be it's got to be like a trophy kind of thing. It's going to be something that you're going to hold for the month until you give it to the next winner. Or you can keep it. Because you'll win the next challenge, probably. So we got to go out and make a big ass trophy. Yeah, basically in a way. Go to a sports shop. You can buy trophies. We have them custom made. Now and all that. the uh, how this is going to work though, you can't challenge somebody if they do not have the game. Okay. You can lend them the game. You can challenge them and give them the games. Like you have to get this achievement by the end of the week. What if it's one of those challenges just to get oh so many gamer score in a set week? It has to be achievements. It's an achievement well, challenge. Course. Would be like X amount of achievements in a week. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, if you if you defeat like if you cha- complete the challenge in a certain amount of time, like maybe one day, and then you challenge somebody else for a hard one, try to get some more points for yourself, or somebody can challenge you again. Oh, I'm up for it. I love achievements. I like challenges. I love achievements. I'm not much, I'm not, me and myself, I'm not big on achievements, so my thing is, I'll ref this. Are stuff. you going to be like, I'm like 50-50, fucking... I like to play the game for what it is, but I like going for achievements. Are you going to be like one of those fucking NFL refs that like, goes on strike, calls shitty Probably. fucking bullshit? Well, here's they're the thing. back, by the way. Yeah, they're back. I like playing games, I love stories, absolutely love stories. Oblivion, I didn't even try to get all the achievements. To be completely honest, he got 50 honest. out of 60 achievements. No, he got all the achievements for the game. He didn't get all, the DLC. All original achievements, no DLC. I okay. well, they have all the originals on Halo. Um, arcade games aside, uh, in actual full retail games, I think Reach is the only one that I've actually gotten to the point where I'm almost at every single one. And I stopped trying to get the fucking stupid ones because they're all like fucking online bullshit that I didn't want to give two shits about. I'm gonna check how many games they completed. I'm only missing one achievement in Reach, and it's going to be a pain in the ass to Which one? Um, has to be on a Defiant map. No. And it's basically a one flag capture the flag. Stick you have to complete. Here. No, you have to complete around without the enemy team touching no. your flag. Yeah, so you have to fucking just stronghold it the whole time. Yeah, totally. but they got rid of the squad DLC playlist. Yeah. So unless we get a group of people together and play a team objective and do it like boosting, yeah. Yeah, there's no way I can get that. Map. I think it's possible to do that. It's possible, it's just fucking stupid. Well, because not everyone has the map pack, so doing it with uh-huh. random matchmaking, that's what makes it the pain in the ass. Oh, yeah, too. Well, no, but you were talking about, like, a third person coming in to sign whether this is, you know, bronze, silver, gold, platinum ranking. Of a well, team. no, the only time you, another person needs to come out is actually with the uh, platinum. Amongst okay. the group... Survey it. Yeah. Just group decision if it's going to be, you know... Whatever tier it's going to be. Well, I mean, think about it. You you challenge someone to... So the point was you challenge them to get a certain achievement, right? Yeah, you have to challenge them to get a certain achievement. No one's going to challenge them to get... You have to tell them the achievement, and you have to give them the description. You can't tell them how you're supposed to get it. Only You can only... uh, This is pretty much how you're supposed to do it. 
Alright. Well, just... well, you can't tell them to get a secret achievement. No, you cannot. You have to give them the name and you have to give them the description. Even online, you can find what the cheap the secret achievement is called yeah. and the description. Basically, like um, if I tell you, all right, David, I challenge you to get Volaire. Volaire is complete Volaire. Isn't that a quest? Yes, yeah, you must complete Volaire. That's all I can tell you. Everything else is up to you. And that right, that right there would consist of a. I would consider that like a bronze achievement, but. Or would you consider that silver? It's 20 gamer score, so... It's 20... Well, how hard is the fucking... Well, because he was saying, like, 10 or 15. Well, 5 or 10 would be, uh... All right. This would actually be, uh... Well, I would, I would well, say anywhere see... from 15 to 25. Let me also number. throw in this. It, it also has to be on how difficult it is. Yes, I have... I will tell you this. It is... I would consider this a silver achievement. Reasons why is because it involves a whole entire quest. Not just one quest, but a whole... Also, I'm assuming it's not the very beginning of the game. You actually have to play it to get there. Yeah. Well, it's also okay. like, uh, think about like that fucking um, Gears of War one. Do 50 waves, you know, all that bullshit. It's only worth 10 points. I would go But it was that, a pain though. in the fucking ass. <laughs> what? Complete 50 waves in one sitting on Gears 3. I'd also like to um, make make a. It's a bitch, dude. It's a pain. It, it's in the a bitch. Ass, That's why and it's only worth ten. I points. would say it is a gold, but it also could be a silver because of how much of a bitch it is. Because it does take, it does require a lot of time. Yeah. And a it lot of the whole night. And it, and plus, you could be doing it alone. That's the thing. If you're doing it alone, then that's going to take. See, you no. The, the, th- the thing is, are they challenging you? And then, can you set the perimeters to? You get no help, or you get someone to help you, or whatever. I would like to jump in. Did you write your name on here? Yes. Okay. Go on. Oh um, no, I was just asking and stuff. That like, could be that we can probably. Do, uh, do we set? Do we just leave that to the person challenging the other what person? What do you guys think about that? Because like, it's I still thought of a variable with it. If it's an achievement that can be done with matchmaking, some people can get it rather easily, as opposed to those where you need something specific for it. So then. At this point, we'll, we're basically holding that any, any achievement that can be done on a multi Mod on multiplayer can have help. I we're, guess. we're yeah, we're not if you, if it can be done through multiplayer, we're not gonna say because, that they uh, can't use help. Like he said, if you're challenging just one person to do it and then no one else in the group can help that person on Gears Three, they can just jump into horde matchmaking, start at wave one, and go to fifty with random assholes that don't care. Yeah. But here's the thing, okay, during the one week that the challenge is being set up. You can only challenge one person at a time, but somebody can challenge you, Okay. and that's the limit. And uh, I want to know, the person you challenge, can they go right back at you and challenge you to what, like, let's say, the vol- the Volaire, you challenge me to that, after I, like, if I'm done or I failed, whatever, can I come back and challenge you to do the exact same thing? Yes, you can, but here's the thing, if you do fail, the points that are being given to you if you complete it will actually be given to me. So you can redeem yourself. Yeah. A little so bit like, if I around. like if I say that was just way too hard, I want to see you do it. I challenge you to get that achievement. You can That's only like challenge Halo Reach. Reach you can only came to hear me beg. You failed that constantly, but Nathan got it the first try. But here's, I got it eventually. here's the thing: you can challenge me it only if I have the game and if I have not completed it yet. Okay. But what so if he lets you borrow the game to try to get the achievement? When, when like, say he fails, yes, you you can have the game in your hand. Like for Fallout, for instance, if you were challenging him to get Volair. I would you give would him let my, him borrow the game to play it. Yeah, I would give him my copy just okay. so he could play it. Alright. So, let's see, then that means the person that doesn't have it can just be like, here, try it that way. Alright, well, so... Can you challenge someone to a co-op achievement? Like the Halo one, like the Halo 3 yes, one you where can't you, help them. you can't help them? Like, what right. I mean by that is, like, the challenger, the one that... You're, if you're challenging him to do it, you can't help him get it. So, like, you challenge me, and... Like, he, it is up to him if it's it, set is help. To yeah. find set help. Uh, the, a good example of this is the Halo 3 where all four of us had to be in Ghost. At the yeah. Very end. <laughs> you, if you challenge me to that, I can recruit these two and some, like, Adrian or yeah, something. Yeah, I grab Adrian and, and Flick. Yeah, and then be like, okay, guys, I need your help to get this achievement to he get the points for Sean. and then Adrian or Flick. Oh, yeah, okay. I pointed at you two. Oh, sweet. In a way, this could so. also... Not only would he mean the achievement... If the people that are helping him have not gotten the achievement, well, it's a vid master, so it's worth zero. No, the point, the it's a it's a badge of honor in a it's way. It's a badge of yeah. That's a hard. If you get all the vid masters from the Halo Three yeah, series, you unlock recon armor. But three four three kind of gave that away for free. So. I don't know. Now yeah. it's just a badge of honor. 
It is. It, even then, it was still a badge of honor if you'd gotten it because those are fucking tough. I'm only missing a door from ODST. Uh, I'm missing. How many were there? There was. What, I'm missing six? one vidmaster. No, there was like six vidmasters. Well, no, there were some vidmasters that actually had score to them. Most of them in, ha- in the original Halo Three, no score. In ODST, they had score. Well, no, in the in the Halo Three, um, I have I think two out of the vidmasters because I didn't I have all the vidmasters. I didn't have time. Three. Also, my copy of the Halo Three didn't work for shit at all. I remember that you got kicked from yeah. half the matchmaking games. Tell me about it. It sucked balls. And you can only get points from the achievements that you get challenged to, correct? So the points that you acquire are equivalent to the number of gamers score. I'm not determined the number because of, so I would say yeah, like because be well, good to do you, that. well, that's my thing. Is like you, um, and you can only get points from what you're challenged to do, right? Like, you can't, like, go off well, on no, your you own. you can't go off and do other you stuff. You can't go off on your own and say, I did these achievements, well, no, so no, no, I no, get these it's points. Not like you can only get points, points from the ones you're challenged. But it's not like you're, you know, the achievements you get off the other hand are going to your point system. I'm gonna run Your point system is only for what you've gotten for that said challenge. Right? Hmm? What was that? The points you get are, and it's say, like he, like he said, you know, go off and get a different achievement and all that. Still getting yours, that other achievement... That point system doesn't go toward what you were having because you were only told to get that. So whatever you were meant to get, yeah. that's the point you're getting. Yeah. Not like extra shit that you got on the side. That's just yeah, pretty okay. much a bonus to your own self. It has nothing to do with the competition. Well, I mean, yeah, like, you know, I like I challenged Pat to get whatever achievement it is to finish a game on the hardest difficulty. Yeah. And he like he hasn't played the game before, so he'll get all these achievements all the way through. Those achievements don't count, but they it's, won't. Those one, those ones will not go towards what the he achievement did. pointage that you win for, like in said achievement. That's not what it is for the scoring, is yeah. it? Mm-hmm. Is okay. Say I beat it for Dead Space Two. What was the beat on how uh, Zealot difficulty? What was the achievement worth? Was it like uh, maybe fifty? No, wasn't it like hundred. If you're looking for a hundred point, you're no, no, looking no, no, for no, insanity. No, 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 no. Well, well, yeah, the fine, highest, right insane. There. Insanity or whatever. That is uh, definitely considered... Okay, I want to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm making a point. Is it the point that you get from said achievement, or is it an actual point system on its own? Oh, yeah, I, that's what I was going to talk about. All right, I realize what you guys said. I do not agree about the... If you get... Say, like, if you get this, there's 100 points. You do not get 100 points. That is the reason why we have the difficulty setting for bronze, silver... Gold, do we want, do we want to just... Okay, we'll create a chart. Yeah, we'll create a chart about yeah, that. Yeah, instead of, like, more like, you know... You get 100 games for war, you get whatever and stuff. Compa- depending on the rank, like bronze, one point, silver, two points, etc., etc. Yeah, we could probably do stuff. that. We'll d- like platinum. Yeah, the max you can get for a platinum, which is like a really hard achievement, is four points. And that will be determined by a group of people whether or not Actually, that is a, yeah. a platinum. All right, so demonstrations on a, plat- a platinum kind of like a uh, challenge will be like one like yeah. this. <laughs> this is definitely one. Finish the game. And well, by the way... Start to finish hardcore, yeah. And by the way... If you challenge me to this, don't challenge me. It is pretty easy for me because you know why. I've been playing this whole game. What game is this? Fallout. Fallout. Ah. New Vegas. Even from my PlayStation Three when I was playing it, when I, every why time don't I you ever, have it right now. Yeah, I have it on right now. Are like, you I working just, on it? Yeah, I'm working on it. But the thing yeah. is though, ever since I ever started a new character, I always have hardcore mode. On. I've been playing for the first time playing. I've been so used to it. I love it so much. I've been debating on to do uh, what Skylar does and just go on the hardest difficulty right out the gate with pretty much any game. What I what I do usually if it's, like, if it's a game that I've not played, there's no I'm previous versions of it or anything like that. I go either on normal or the second hardest yeah. difficulty, yeah. so I get a good feel for it. Then do a run through. Well, the I'll hardest. play Halo on heroic just because of the whole this is the way the game was meant to be played. Type. Yeah. The only time I ever play on a difficulty that's not on hard on the first time if if I know that my character will be transferred into the second playthrough. Yeah. Like everything I got. It was transferred was over like a game Like Dead plus. Space. Dead Space yeah. was definitely one. I started on normal mode, then I went to the next level because I knew that the stuff I did. Because you build up. Because I and build it's up. called Game Plus. Yeah. That stuff, you can run through it on like normal if you want to be a pussy and go easy. Normal? It's called gaining momentum. Gaining momentum. <laughs> you build up. <laughs> so when you go into the hardest normal. one, you have it's ammo, momentum. you don't start out with nothing, you start out with mass amounts of shit, and you're just like, fuck y'all. I'm not playing the game on normal, I'm just gaining momentum. I have yet to start the game. <laughs> yes, it's a good way to put it. I'm just reading the game. Yep, I'm so, just getting a feel for it. No. So I'm back, watching it on YouTube. Right. <laughs> so back to the achievement challenge, though. Can a person, uh, can a person get an achieve, uh, challenge someone to an achievement that they already have? No. No. If they do not have it, there is no way they can do it and get it. 
Are you writing those down? Unless okay. we use the team shared account. No, no, no. Why am I online? It, junior. Oh. Or someone You can only there. challenge somebody to achievement if they have the game and if they have not completed the achievement. Oh, okay. Well, then, that would be like saying we can't challenge you to that because you've done it before on the PS3. No, no, well, no. No, no, no. Well, I don't have it. He doesn't have it now. This is on yeah, this, he doesn't have the achievement, meaning that you can challenge him again. It is yet to be unlocked. It is yet to be driven towards. All right. Well, you're kind of driving towards it now. Well, yeah, yeah, that's why I'm saying it's a bad idea to challenge me on this. Yeah. Um, also, I don't have the game, and I really, really... Can you challenge someone to not do something? No. That you know how when you're playing through a game... That's pretty, much, that no. is pretty much against... No, you're like it's like you play through a game, and just by doing something, you'll accidentally get said achievement... But it's a really easy achievement to get. Challenge someone to avoid getting that achievement for as long as possible. If it's something that's super fucking easy... Like, kill oh so many enemies with a specific gun, and it's a basic gun in the game that you I, start every level with. We could do that, but that would have to be a different kind of, like, set thing. Yeah. Well, that would have to be, like, a different game. I think that would be too play. far out of the reaches of what we're doing at the moment. Yeah, I know. That's why it has to be a separate kind of game. We can have, like, a maybe a little series kind of thing. It's like, alright, you're going to be playing this game. Now, here's the thing. Even though the game is allowing you to do this stuff, we're gonna limit limit you on what you your, what you can do. All right, so uh, there are soldiers coming after you, and they're gonna be shooting at you. Don't shoot at them. Completely, no, no, no. Complete this round without killing anybody. <laughs> then my then my, team, then my challenge to Pat would be, at this moment would be uh-huh. to go through no. X without so was, killing a single person. Say, I was about to say, is there a way to go through? A, can a you like if you've been challenged? Can you decline it? Um, or that, like that, like instantly. Say, all right, that that's gonna have to be a majority vote right here, right now, if that's allowed. I I'd believe so yes. because I will not play through due sex without killing him. That is bullshit. And because you're challenging There's someone no to an achievement way. they don't want to go for, and you're basically just saying, "Give me points." That's kind of that's the only way you're gonna pretty much be getting points if you're the. That'd be person. like me challenging David to hardcore mode, knowing that he's got school and work. I got work too. I got work too. He's got school and work. He lies. I do mom. both of you. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> you go to school on some days, but you also go to work at the same time. What? Because you busy. take days off, and you're like, oh, I have school this time to this time, and you can stay out of work that way. Or I got church, quote unquote. I do have church. <laughs> Please. Do you want to come with me? No. I'm just come saying, on, because I know that I'll, I'll challenge tom- David Come on, to tomorrow I'll bring you some. You still... No, we got out. We got out. Eleven thirty. You'll still have time to go over there. Problem for everybody. Gates open at twelve. Gates open at forty minutes. I would allow the ability to decline it. Band start at one. If we do that, I have to get out early to get the track. We're going to decline the uh, ruling that if you don't complete the challenge in a certain time, that or you can only decline ones that are for gold or platinum. Okay, I like that better then. If it's something that can be obtained with little to medium effort, then that's fine. You can get it on a standard work week. But if it's something that's going to take time and effort. Then well, it's like you have the ability I, to okay, like in, hardcore mode, for instance. Well, no, in for instance, uh, Deuce X, there's achievements for being chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and all. I still haven't got the achievement for being chapter one. I'm at the tenth level in the game, and I still haven't gotten chapter one yet. <laughs> I don't know how long this fucking game is, oh, but it's long. long as fuck because I'm at twenty three hours. No, and there's a bunch of hours. there's like a bunch of side quests no, too. I, I skip all side quests. I'll deal with those at another time. All right, but, so. But yeah, no, I've, I'm at like 20, 23 hours into this game, and I haven't even beaten Chapter 1 yet. All right, and I'm so, at the 10th level. No. All right, I'm going to declare this now. You can uh, decline a challenge only on gold or platinum, but for a warning for this, this will also increase your chances of losing the monthly challenge. What's the monthly? Pretty much after every all the talent, all the points are gathered up, they're compared on, on every month, okay. by the end of the month, and whoever has the most points is the winner for that month. That's why we're going to have like, a little prize kind of thing, like, here you go, here's your prize. You can hold it, you can display in front of your friends, like, ha, I beat you guys. Okay. Okay, and one of, uh, so I want to be sure, can you, how many people can you challenge at a time? You can only challenge one person at a time. But everyone, so, but you could, like, like you could challenge Skylar, but then in turn, all of us can challenge you. Yeah, that's another no, no, thing I was going to ask. If can he's already been challenged, no one can challenge him. So he can only be challenged by one person at a time, and he can only challenge one person at a time. Only one, yeah. He can challenge somebody, and I can challenge him, but that's about it for him right there. Oh, okay. Until the challenge is complete, he then can he declare, can go to somebody else. He can only declare and accept one challenge at a time. Yes. 
Once the challenge is complete, he can go to somebody else and challenge somebody. Okay. I like this. I like this. Yeah, so that way... I would referee it. You can be refereed for it if you're if you're asked in the group if it's a... I'm a non-honest well, party. What do you mean? I can just open unlock an achievement at my will. I've got Horizon. Well, so do I, but I'm... I yeah, I'm but, but I'm honest with my game. I'm really part. against that if that is... I mean, I don't do it, but I I know me. I would probably wind up doing it just for the hell of it. No, well, see, I won't. I won't do that. I won't see you playing this game. If see, you're I, gonna, if you're going to cheat to get the achievement, I cheat on every so game it's pretty much play. down to me and me and, and Skylar really against that. That's why I, I said, said I would just, referee it. Well, see, at this point, it looks like it's just me and Skylar because me and him are honest as fuck no, but about I, achievements. I don't go. I don't go for achievements. Yeah, see, I saw it. You can play. I'm fine. Be a player. Don't be an asshole. Well, no, I haven't unlocked any of my own personal achievements no, yet. No, no, I know, because I could do the same thing. You I'm know, just saying I could do that, and I know me. If I was pressed into that spot where I just really wanted to win it or something, I'd be like, okay, unlock it. Well, see, me and Skylar, we're different. We're, like, I know me. Achievement is achievement. It's a fucking achievement. You know, We want like, the achievement. I have the monument. I want to have that shit. feeling like, oh, I did this. You know, well, I will be willing to join in and play at the moment my Diamond membership runs out, which will be next month on the 16th. Oh yeah, we gotta do that family pack. But the only reason I have diamond is so I can swap around weapons on Gears Three at my own will without having to pay for them. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just because I'm not gonna pay for something that I already have. Dislock bullshit. Yeah. The <laughs> first podcast we did, we talked about that. Yeah, we were. We were pissed. That. I was pretty drunk. But yeah, uh, that's the only reason I have diamond right now, so I can switch around on that. Show. <laughs> no, but, but like I said, me and well, Sky unlock all the cards. We take games. achievements seriously. Oh yeah, we do. You know. Well, yeah, I mean, I do too. But I nah, would, you know, I, well, now that I know you now cheat, that you announced I said that, I have the option to. I well, have I have an option too, but I'm not going to do it. Well, I'm not either. And but you, I know you me. said if you were pressed to no, the you, time, no, then you will. Time. Yeah, but I'm being honest right now. No, then you're saying that you will cheat. I will, but that's then. I haven't yet. Yeah, because we haven't started this yet. The, exactly. That's why I'm not doing it until I'm more sure of myself. The thing is, I'm being honest about it up front rather than pussyfooting it around and cheating behind your guys back later. Are we going to have to install a, you know, a video capture mode for all this to make sure? I well, would, see, now I we can do that. that for easier achievements or like. Well, no, that's kind of like to prove that you did to show. Yeah, but the thing is, that was with some of the longer achievements, <coughs> I, we would have to re, we would have to basically uh, record, you know, one hundred percent of the gameplay, knowing that you guys did not, you know, you yeah. went through it all and stuff because. Sean, well, what could happen is like Sean, well, I was really Sean debating about like anybody cheating. I didn't think it'd be possible for anybody to cheat on this, but no, now it's, it's, now it's I'm very worried about this. Cheatable. You know, hell, Sean's brother. You know, Max yeah, was getting like sport. seventeen thousand gamer score in the span of a day. Yeah, because no. I remember I was past him. <laughs> I'm still past him, and uh, all of a sudden he just popped up instantly. And yeah, it's like this ain't right. right. See, well, that's half. That's half the thing is you know like people. You know, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's, there's like a code of honor right when doing this, but there are those people that are like, I want to win, like Sean and stuff, who will cheat to get to what they want. On a I'm side not trying to say anything bad against you. I'm no, just but saying. at least I'm being honest about it. No, on a side honest. note, uh, I believe... It still doesn't make it any better, though. Um, you know you check, like, Would right you rather there? I just do it behind your back and then you have, have you even more pissed off about it later or be honest and upfront about it now <laughs> the before game, we start? The, the whole challenge would be canceled. Exactly. But, uh, what's it called? Side note. That's just that's bad against you because no one's going to want to challenge you now. Side note. Side note. Um, you know, like every fucking thing where you look at your gamer score has like how much you could have had. Yeah. You had everything. I believe Flick has the big, the biggest. Probably. His uh, 172, I believe, thousand. Mine's over 200k. Really? Yeah. Mine's at 78,000 right of now. How many? Have how many? You could how much have I could have had? I'm at. And that's, a, that's depending on each and every game you've ever every played. Every game you've ever played. Yes. Most of the games I have right now are pretty bullshit. So if I max mine, you guys would notice that instantly. Yeah. Up to 72, 73,000. He's got, he's got 72, 72,000. <laughs> if I max mine, it'd be noticed instantly and I'd be gone. Well, no, look <laughs> at, uh, what's it called? Uh, Twiggies. Yeah, he's over 100. He's, no, over, he's, close to he's about 100, now. roughly 100,000. And if he maxed his, he'd be fucking insane. Well, it's like a brown man, uh, fucking... Ray. Ray yeah. from uh, oh. Chima Hunter. He already has over 300,000. Plays a lot. Yeah. Put, that's his, part of their part job. Part of his job is to... It's called a Chima Hunter. <laughs> Fuck, you sit there. Yeah, he, his job is to get the achievements for first-person shooters. See, that, that would be my... My goal would be to get paid to get achievements. That would be fucking amazing. See, I wouldn't that'd, mind it. That'd be great. All I gotta do is make videos, play a lot of shit, like 10 hours of games a day, 
God, it'd be nice. Getting games earlier than the general public? Oh, dude. Yeah. That's, that's sick. He, he almost he's off. almost 100% in Borderlands 2 weeks yeah. before the game even came out. Well, because they got to make uh, videos for it, and they want to make it up to date so when people first get in, they're trying and to And I really need out. my, my flash drive it because there. it also has my Borderlands 2 Yeah. Where's your flash drive? Hopefully at You know, house. as you guys talking, I'm going to go check the corner for a second. The corner? Yeah. Do you put all your shit in just the corner? Well, he's gonna check maybe it fell in my pocket. Are you going to match it? Yeah, like I said, um, after the 16th of next month, I'll be more than happy to join in on this. It's just right now, in all good conscience, I can't do it. So I'll run for it. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, you know. But what one thing we could do, I was thinking about, it, is we can just go buy a lot of those, like, four buck, under fucking five buck fucking games from GameStop. Buy a few of them. And, or buy at least two of them. I've each. been doing that already. And then just sit there, and those are like the dueling fucking ones. Like, oh, you gotta get this certain achievement or this certain achievement, you know? Get a game no one's familiar with. That's kind of hard. Cooking Mama, bitch. Oh hey. my god. <laughs> I, have a I love point. Cooking Mama. I'm not gonna say yet, but Pat, you're giving me my first challenge. What game is it? I'm not saying it. Well, me. I'm gonna say this now. If any of you can find NBA 2K6 at a GameStop, I will pay you double what you paid for it. There's one at Game Trader near my house. The average asking price at GameStop is four bucks. He'll pay. He'll give you eight bucks. <laughs> I'll make my money back and then some. Yeah, because I'm re- I'm looking for that game right now. Why so? I can max it like that. <laughs> oh <laughs> what are you yeah. looking for over yeah. there? Flash is it for his flash drive? Really? Yeah. Uh, well, I know how I'm professional. <laughs> <laughs> Not, there, there's nothing professional about our group. There's a lot of shit. I'm professional. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting on an amp, talking, usually smoking and drinking. That's professional. Yeah, well, there's two professional. reasons why I want that game. Huh. I want a basketball game, and I can match it like that. I don't give two shits about basketball, but I love achievements. That's why I play a lot of stupid shit. Yeah, um, just like with... Uh, Madden 08. I just wanted a football game and it was under a dollar. I complete one football game and get over 200 gamers. Scores. I got, what, <laughs> buck six, 160 off of that when I just That's played one That's where Jeff's got from is from yeah. stupid games. Fuck yeah, dude. Well, one of, one of my things and stuff would be like yeah, cha- change it to you. What they did like on Rooster Duke was where Jeff had to get a certain amount of points. It was the very first thing. Achievement Hunter installment where yeah. he had 10,000 uh, gamer score in a week and he got it in three days. Yeah, yeah but he, play, he, he played like every stupid game he, he could find. He wasn't allowed to play any games that he already had played, so he went out and bought a shit ton of games, got the 10000 in three days, and went and drank for the rest and of the time. So $1,000. Part, part, part of me would be like, you know, do that with the, like, somehow like, do that like with this, but the thing is that we don't have ac- as, we don't have as much access to different types of games and stuff to get, like, there's I mean, if, if, I, if I gave you guys a month, like, I'd expect you to get like a hundred thousand game scores or something. If I had, if I had excess money, yeah, yeah. If yeah. I, that's I, the thing. I, that's the thing. If I had, we don't about, have that much. If I had about a hundred and fifty dollars excess for that month, which I kind of do sometimes, and enough time to play it, I bet you I can get thirty thousand gamer score by doing just that. I would go buy all those fucking games, like a lot of those FIFA games that I don't play. Yeah. Because you need a lot of achievements in those. I buy well, all we, of those. We can do stuff like that against each other. Yeah. But the thing is, though, we're going to have to tell our work, hey, can we have these these many days off? Oh, but that affects my point. rent. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was going to say accumulated time, less than 24 hours, but it took me three weeks to do it because of work and packing and all that shit. But basically, Actually, I got... What? Th- I'm house. Yeah. I'm packing. Oh, I'm hacking. I think it's hacking. No, not hacking. Same thing. <laughs> well, I jail broke my phone, but that's another story. But um, it took me around two or three weeks to get like around three thousand gamer score. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But it was less than twenty four hours accumulated time. So I mean, if I was unemployed and had the access money, I could probably get that much in a week. Well, back before you had a job, yeah. Dude, right? Yeah, but I didn't have the cash to go out and buy well, games. Do you see when uh, recently when um, I got a. Uh, excess money and after fucking few weeks of me not being able to use my system because I thought it was broken silly me <laughs> uh, silly. I decided I was like fuck it I'm gonna go and you know and play games I got over two and a half thousand in just what two days <coughs> because I was like fuck it I could play games again yeah Skylar's been shooting up pretty quickly lately too oh, how much yeah. you at now uh 17 yeah he's like halfway yeah he's like halfway through 17,000 not bad I'm waiting for him to pass up Tom just so we could rub it in his face. <laughs> I remember Tom was mad that I hit 20k before him. I think I'm... 
You're like, I'm, I'm finally higher than someone. <laughs> you're like, what, 14? Roughly? You're higher than Laurel. Something like that. Uh, Everyone's higher than Laurel. Not Ashen. I think Ashen's still below him. No, Ashen's Lower. gone to, uh, like, at, last time I checked that he's been online is uh, 11... 11,000, whatever. I still have twice what he has, so it's okay. I don't yeah. Know. I have twice what he has, almost. I think I'll save up for a capture card just so I can do a playthrough of Dead Rising. Well, they're now having a... Um, the first one was fun, dude. You can... They, have, they have a new t- kind of uh, capture card that we have. Or boring and it's, uh, old shut up. Shut, shut up! <laughs> I don't care what you have to say. <laughs> that was just... No, but... Well, I was more or less telling the Skyward this because he's the one who wanted one as well, and... There's a new capture card that's about only 20 bucks more, and but it uh, apparently records at a higher resolution. Where it's like a... Ten, it's like 1080, whereas the one I have was like 420 or whatever. Yeah, it is the so, same. Too. I just yeah. want to throw something in for a moment. Um, we were looking at achievements on Oblivion. There is a shield, and I kind of made Skylar look at it real fast. It's a complete the main uh, quest line for Oblivion, and it's the Skyrim emblem. Well, it is considered really? the symbol for, uh... Oh my god, it is. Look at the, that. Uh, <laughs> the Empire. Yeah, but that's like the known Skyrim emblem. That oh, game, yeah. minus the add-ons, so just standard Oblivion, is less than 10 bucks. Yeah? It's eight ninety nine a game. So well, what what up. what's the place that they're... Uh, what's, where, is this, where does Oblivion take place? Uh, Cyrodiil. Mordor. <laughs> where, where is that corresponding to Skyrim? It's 200 years that. before. Let's build a tower. Yeah, but yeah. is it like the same area, same, you know, land? Let's build it. Or no, it's not. Go to the corner of the map. Uh, replace all the dirt uh, What's the world called? The Era or something like that. Let's make it is, uh, basically, world. it consists of, like, uh, different continents. And, um... Because <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't, I don't officially know the world of uh, Elder Scrolls. It's really complicated. There's different regions in this one land that came into being. Uh, Skyrim is one area that is in the north area of uh, the whole place. The Dolans. Cyrodiil, the one that Bloomington takes place, is the mill area. This is the capital of the whole, like, country, in a way, you can say. And the capital of that whole place, in the capital there, I went and wreaked havoc, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I had two I white tower. one sapphire and created a shitload on the street. <laughs> uh, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun glitch. After the whole, uh... Uh, Rooster Teeth thing where, well, technically, uh, Achievement Hunter, where if you clone a bunch of items that roll, because they have physics to them, mm-hmm. yeah. you will fuck over that whole section. What? Didn't Nathan do that? What, what? you do is, uh, so what you do is you take, say, any mo- rollable item. Like an orange. Yeah. yeah, okay. And you sit there and you clone fucking 50,000 of those little bitches. Anytime you get near that section, it will freeze the game and slow it down to a drastic stop. I don't understand. How did that all of them, that? Mo- I don't know. Why not? Like, I never, like, did any glitches, but I did abuse, like, uh, ways of, like, leveling up that were pretty much given to you. Like, uh, conj- conjuring, does everyone know what conjuring is? Yeah. Yeah, you conjure up, you summon, like, something, a danger thing. Yeah. Basically, how you level up conjuring is that you just have to use the magic. Mm-hmm. What I did is I went to a room with the bed, and I just conjure, 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 level up, conjure. Conjure, go to sleep, conjure. But that's fine. I did something similar to that in Skyrim because um, there's this one area where there's a bunch of elders, they can't be killed for shit. Just get up behind them and crouch until it's just hidden. Strike them. Just keep doing that. It'll level up your sneak to 100. Yeah. I, I, in Oblivion and, they won't and kill in you Skyrim, I have they found won't, places where people won't stand. die. So I take my sword and start whacking at them, and then you level up like that. With Oblivion, I found a way to level up my sword. It can be done with aim melee kind of thing. There's these uh, Daedric worshiper kind of people, and they've been trapped in, in this world, but their bodies are outside next to the shrine, and they can't be killed. So I just went up with my sword and went slink, 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 <laughs> slink, slink. And with the Skyrim, there is a somebody you can hit and level up your sword. The uh, dragon from the main quest that you talk to, the uh, voice dragon, whatever guy that. Yeah. Like uh, in the beginning, Oof. like mm-hmm. uh, when it's coming to the point where you're oh, asking. Yeah. Hey, these guys are telling me to kill you, and this is before the the court meeting and all that stuff. Like these guys are telling me to kill you, and he's like saying, "Yeah, I understand you probably want to kill me, but I'm actually pretty good." <laughs> you can start swinging at him, and he won't die, and he won't attack you. What's it called? What, which game was it in uh, the Elder Scrolls series that you can hit your horse repeatedly and level up? I don't know. 
I think it was. Uh, pretty much any of them was Shadowmere. Yeah, you could see them <laughs> just attack your Shadowmere horse. Shadowmere can die. If you would take him off a cliff. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, is he does come back, Yo! but it takes a fucking long time. No, but yeah, you can use your uh, horse to level up. You can sit there and start stabbing the shit out. I remember out. playing Skyrim. Some funny moments to be had. They're all influenced by Pat. <laughs> the first one. I'm standing on top of a tall mountain. He's like, come on, you should yell at the sky. I look up. Foosh! Dragon out of fucking nowhere decides to come after me and start no, attacking no, me. No, it's like, <laughs> the dragon flies up into his view and she's like, yo. And he's like, fuck, a dragon. And I was like, see? And then all of a sudden, dude, shit went shit The went bitchy crazy. part, it checkpointed me right after I yelled foos. So every time it killed me, it would respawn me at that spot. The dragon would just be like, I'm here. We're going to do this again. We're going to do this until you get it right. Funny moment number two. I start a bar fight by slashing this one lady <laughs> that I can't die for some reason. So I go and hide in a room. One of the guards from White Run just goes in there. I close the door behind him and I kill the guard from White Run. He tells me to put the guard's helmet on and walk out of the room. It I fucking put, works! I put the helmet on and walked out of the room. Nobody fucking noticed me. <laughs> until, this, until I got close to the chick that I strike. She's like, Wait a minute! She gets up and slashes at me, and everyone decides to come after me. But it again. If you, if, if that I, was walking out, I was walking out there all casual, I'm like, "Hey, yeah." So, and no one said, "Hey." And we're just like acting like he's a normal guy then. And then that bitch is like, "Wait, I know you." No, but it actually worked. So my my plans work sometimes. When did it not work? When you told me to jump off a cliff because I have a parachute. Look, the only time I, the only awkward time I ever had in Skyrim is I have a character that is completely naked and I just punch people. That's that's, that's all I do. I little, I, I just I'm decide, okay, I'm gonna play my character again. So I level up. I just uh, load up that character. I'm walking through the town and everyone's naked. Apparently, because I'm naked, everyone else has nudist to be naked. colony. Oh, so okay. I'm walking around. Everyone's naked. Even people that shouldn't even be naked. And you can't even take their costume away yeah. if you kill them. So the queen's naked. She's in the hot? court. She was. I like her. <laughs> I didn't like her. I'm gonna like her really good. There is one hot person now, thanks to the new DLC. What's oh. up? That vampire chick? Oh, I thought you were gonna say about the kids. And I was gonna no, 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 figure no. it out. No, like the Did he say chick? something about that though? He, like the freaking thousand year old like kid vampire that looked like a ten year old or whatever? Oh, uh, yeah, that's in the uh, Dark Brotherhood. I like that you can adopt kids, and then Raya's, you're about to adopt them, tell them, no, never mind. No, oh, never mind. I don't want you going. <laughs> like, you, you got to want it. You got to want it. You got to want it. The final funny moment in Skyrim that I had was when I had Sneak and Pickpocket at 100, and I went on right. I went on to White Run, taking all the arrows from the guards. Oh. I committed a crime while inside the inn, and then I stood on the little rafter parts where it's just like the square flanking. All of the guards ran in there, they pulled out their bows, and they just kept walking in circles. <laughs> it's like, Where's my bow? It's like, we got this, we just don't want to let you know. <laughs> we got this, we got arrows. Yeah, yeah, come down for we shoot you. Yeah, anyways, for that chick, I kid you not, she looks like the, the vampire chick that's hot. She does. She looks exactly like uh, the chick from Underworld. Nice. <laughs> that is the reason why I'm like... And I regret... I don't know if you can marry her, but I regret marrying my previous wife. Kill her. You can't divorce. You can't di- till death do us part. Kill sure. her. <laughs> I have to be dead. Kill her. <laughs> Take her to wait, death she death actually say And the thing is, she's immortal. immortal. I can't kill her. Why would you marry an immortal? Wait, 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 Cut her head off. Because that's great. Cut her head off. Wait, did, did she say, you know, until death do us part? Did she actually say that to you? The priest did. Well, dude, the priest said kill a priest then. <laughs> 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 it's bad if you're at your own red. Thing is though, I object. I only marry people that can accompany me. Accompany me. Accompany me. Yeah. In battle. That's that. No, see, I understand. And my current wife no. is a werewolf. I understand that that you know that's good and all, but if you find someone even better looking, you're just like, I want her, not you. Wait, so you like you like the chick that from the movie Underworld? The like the main chick? Oh, yeah, she's hot. That's what that's what the girl in the she looks like. Okay, so it, it, what, who, who, I played, who plays this, that? I could load this up for you guys remember. and let you guys see this for yourself. No, 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 we, no. We, we don't. I got a phone on. for that. All right, Kate, Kate Beckinsale. Is that who it is? Maybe. So Patch is like, wait, she's, wait, she's it, hotter than you. I'm going with her. What? <laughs> no, that's what he was saying about the way thing. I had another idea. What? You put a bag over her head. Just say I'll be back in five minutes <laughs> and then take the hotter chick away. 
<laughs> Run away to the mountains. No, never here's the, here's the awkward thing about it. Now that, thanks to the other new DLC, I have, like, a house. My wife is living there. But I take the vampire chick with me to my house, too. Oh, no. Threesome? <laughs> but here, here's the thing about it that's pretty awkward. I just uh, found a way to turn myself back into a human, even though I can't now, thanks to the new DLC. So I'm like, thank God. So now this is what it's like in my household. I'm sleeping with a werewolf, my current wife, and now I'm sleeping with a vampire. <laughs> Your ex-wife. Wait, that's like Bella well, from Twilight. Yeah, really. <laughs> You're Bella now. He, he, no. <laughs> you know what? In this situation, at least they don't it's fucking nice. sparkle in Skyrim. Or no, they do not sparkle. You're gonna get okay. fucked by a dog and a bat. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm. No, no, you're, no, you're fucking a dog and a bat. Doggy style. Okay, okay. It's pretty bad to think of that that way through a. Uh, <laughs> That's a smile it's bad to yeah. think about that through uh, Twilight. But this is how I'm thinking of it. I'm banging a actual vampire chick that's hot that does not sparkle. Does she bite? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Both of them do. Does she suck <laughs> blood? Oh. <laughs> well, you, you know, you know where a lot of blood can be found. I mean, so okay. the rush is there. All right, man. All right, all right. Here's another bad pun for that. <laughs> the, the vampire chick sucks. That's that's cute and everything, but the werewolf is hot when she does it because she devours. Ew. <laughs> she just her. eats you up, doesn't she? <laughs> Eat me, bitch. Oh. <laughs> look her up. Yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> I need to look her up. Dongard werewolf chick. I'll look. I don't know if I should put Dongard werewolf chick in Minecraft. Vampire news. chick. I mean. Well, I'm gonna look like this up. In Minecraft up. news, um, sometime in October, 4J Studios, the company that's kind of converted the PC Minecraft over for the 360. Yeah. They have uh, announced an update, and they've been posting pictures and videos and stuff of said update. They're bringing it up to standards with Minecraft 1.8, and they're going to be adding a bunch of stuff to it. Like the hunger meter, the Enderman, which Is I'm going to... hunger meter? Yeah, basically, you're going to starve, and when your hunger meter Shit. goes down, you're going to start getting hurt. But here's the good part about it. Pretty much any animal you kill will drop food. Thank God. So sheeps, cows, and chickens... You'll get chicken breast, steak, lamb. I'll eat it raw. Eat it raw. <laughs> eat it rare. <laughs> I'll eat it rare. But, uh, I like my meat well done. Cook it. But, uh, wait, 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 anyway, wait. But, um, I'm sorry, hold on right quick. Give me a second. Uh, well, Scott, come here. Is this her? Does she have like a hood on? So I'm looking yes. it up right now. I this? have it on my phone. Yeah. Okay, I'll agree with you. That's fine. Let's now see. look for her without her hood. Let's see. Wait, well, uh, which one is she? She on yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking, like, you know, it was going to look different, like, that's yeah, good, but... Anyway, no, that's fine. Anyway, so, um, there's the hunger meter. Okay. When that depletes, depending on what difficulty you're on, will depend on how much damage it starts right to there. do to you, like, every other minute. So, like, let's just say your hunger meter's done. Like, every other minute or so, you'll start taking damage. Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. that's her. Oh, it yeah. does look like her. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Like, Wait, so th- she's the werewolf, right? She's, she's a vampire. vampire. Okay. Was... Who the hell's a werewolf? <laughs> but, uh... So um... I'll look at both pictures for you. There's the hunger meter, there's new blocks, there's the enderman, and the new blocks include stuff like spider webs, vines, uh, stone bricks, which you can make from cobblestone, or just actual stone, I, I don't know which one it is. Nether like rock. Um, nether rock can be converted into nether stone, nether fence, nether stairs. Oh, nice. He's yeah. going to make nether stairs and nether I'm going to make fence. nether stairs. Nether He's going to make a nether house. Everything's going to be on fire so you can't do shit. Go this is my nether house. house. And in it's every world... Tries to come over all right, you know dungeons, how you like to hunt from? Yeah. Like yeah. In every world, there is one location called a stronghold. It is either above ground or underground. It has a lot of bookshelves, cobwebs, that kind of shit, and a portal. It's not a nether portal, it's an ender portal. If you can kill endermen, you get eyes of the ender. Using, like, six or seven of these, you can light up an ender portal and go to another dimension called the end, and you can battle the ender dragon. What I'm assuming is, in the next skin pack, they will include in, they will include new achievements to accompany said update, because in the computer version of the game, when you defeat the ender dragon... 
the credits play and you get an achievement called the end. So yeah. I'm assuming that they're gonna. Have I'm assuming this events. dragon's gonna be really tough. We're, we're all we're dragon. all gonna need to like band together. I'm gonna fuck that. Get like up. diamond armor. Here's and the other bad part up. about the end. What? The only enemy in there beside the one dragon is a shitload of Endermen. So you're gonna need pumpkin masks so they don't fuck with you. Dude, I have wait, they won't, one, wait, they won't fuck with you. you have pumpkin yeah, mask? You have exactly. Pumpkin if you have a pumpkin yeah. mask and you look right at them, they don't care. If you're not wearing one and you look at them, they will come after you relentlessly. What if yeah. you look at them, then put on pumpkin mask? They'll and still mask. come after you. I mean, Matt, it, they know it's you. you. But if you put it on <laughs> and then go into said something room, else, they're yeah. adding minions. Oh really? If you get two snow blocks and a pumpkin, not a like lit up jack lantern, but a pumpkin. Stack the two snow blocks and then a pumpkin on top of it. You get a snow goal, and what they do is they throw snowballs at enemies. Yeah, the enemies oh, don't. Yeah. The, enemies, the enemies do not get hurt. It just pushes them back. I want, I want like that. Turns, and when they walk around, they leave a snow trail behind them, so you can mine more snow and make more snow goals. You're just like you're gonna have like an army of snow goals. Lastly, the uh, the iron golem. What you do is you uh, build like a cross out of iron, basically five blocks of iron and a pumpkin head on top of it. It creates an iron golem. These things will chase after enemies and inflict damage. What they basically do is run up, do like a flip the table animation, and just toss the enemy in the oh. air. <laughs> Suck it, bitches. The only thing that these things have trouble against are Endermen. Endermen, when they strike you, like a good 75% of your health is just gone. Yeah, so they too hit you. So when we, but if we ever, so when we go after the Ender Dragon, we're gonna need, well, good armor, but Bow we can't. Arrow. Yeah, we but we'll have to have the pumpkin mask so none of the other enemy men fuck with us, right? I'm gonna show you said pictures of my current wife. Well, you gotta also well send us pictures of your ex too. No, anyway, but um, lastly, her. if they decide to add this, the experience meter. Yeah. Whenever you kill enemies, they'll That's drop orbs on the ground. Gather these for experience. You can use the experience to put and gather. Well, because you'd be able to build the enchanting table, the cauldron, that kind of shit. Let's see. You can start using alchemy. I'm gonna show you yeah. two You can enchant this your like armor, life. your weapons. Oh yeah. Okay. Arrows, that kind of mess. Mm. That will right. also be important uh, if we go after the Ender Dragon. She's better. I have a question. This for, is the same one. Hey, Let's everybody see. in here. I have a question. What? Um, Wait. Hey, she's wearing two different outfits. There. She got updated because of her. Uh, Carriage. Carriage. Uh, I married she, her she, before the update. Um, hold on. And I was disappointed. Um, Adrian asked me, asked me this the other day. Is that um, why you remarried? Hold on. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, Pat. Uh, Adrian asked me this actually last night. Um, if he starts a Minecraft uh, server on his computer, will anyone else join? I already said I would join. Do you guys want to join? Don't you, don't you, is it free on your computer? Yeah. He's going to give us the crack in the patch and everything. Yeah. Okay, I'll be, um, yeah, I'll fun. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I'm sure it's the same as on here. So. No, it's a hell of a lot more fun. It, it has more stuff to it. Well, yeah. it's bigger lands. The only thing that's a pain in the ass is getting used to the new controls. Well, that's just it. So, you have to use a computer. But you should use hotkeys and you'll be okay. Yeah. yeah. But, um... Yeah, I'll do it. If they decide to add it, because it hasn't been in the videos and the screenshots yet, um, is the experience bar. So whenever you kill an enemy, they drop these little orbs on the ground, you gather them for experience... Using the experience, you don't level up, but um, you build cauldrons, enchantment tables, stuff like that. You get into alchemy. You can add enchantments to your armor and your weapons. These will become important when fighting against the Ender Dragon. Resistance huh. to fire. But um, another thing that they're adding is uh, breeding. Yeah. You can get your wolves to breed. You can get chickens, cows, and pigs to breed. What I want to do is trap two of uh, every animal aside from wolves in cages. Yeah. And force it's them hard to breed. Not to. That's why you should be a <laughs> security member. You force them to breed, you kill their offspring, you get free food. Really? That's how I'm going to do it. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. Okay, so. <laughs> wait. Wait. Food supply, it's better than farming. So you're the, the werewolf chick, in the update, she looks worse or better than what she did? She looks better in her first update. Is that the one you showed me, like, the second picture? Like, second now, picture. Like, yeah, like, now, like now, that's what she looks like. After the update. The right second now. picture is the one that well, she looks like Well, the new one right now, it still shows her side kind of thing. Side boob. It does still show, but it's less. But the first picture he showed, or the second picture he showed, was the one with the better side boob. That's mm -hmm. the one that was the original. Yeah. She used to have a little bit less clothes, but now they gave her a little bit more. Bastard. Still, I'm okay with it. And the thing Can't is, you see your clothes off? Like, to the point where she's wearing a bra or something? Yeah, basically. <laughs> this is why PC this, is better. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> the reason why I married her, and I think she's really hot, one, she's a redhead, and two, she's the reason why I'm a werewolf. 
Her blood flows through your veins. Flows through my veins. <laughs> <laughs> I almost it, caught your table on fire just laying down. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think that's true love. Okay, so who who are you currently married to? Her? Yeah. And your wait, what was it? Your ex is the vampire? Or? My ex, that's not my ex. It's the one I want to go to. That's the one you want to go to. Okay. I can't. Why? Because she's in. There's no divorce. Can't you give her an antidote? Can't you have multiple with? wives? No. No, unfortunately. Give her that much better. Wait, wait, wait. I know. Wait, hold on. Except you got the guy who was like, I'm going to tell your other wife if you don't pay me. No, what's your... <laughs> wait, there's, there's that guy? In yeah, Fable, in Fable stuff, if you have multiple wives, you will. Tr- this guy will come to your house someday and just like, you pay me or else I'm going to tell everyone in town about your multiple wives. I just pull out the gun and shoot him in the head. I have two and yet wives. They all in, still found I out. have two wives in each town. I have six. Yet... <laughs> I get to encounter this. Guy. I want to go you into a town and I know can, that I have somewhere I can go and just get laid right away. I still like the fact that I have no STDs throughout all my sexual encounters. Really? I have three Who different no games. STDs. Who One was it? Who was a guy STDs. and had like probably sex with another guy, and they're like, "Oh, I had a condom, but they still got an STD." <laughs> Adrian did that. Didn't was it? Was yeah, it Adrian? Sure it, Adrian. it was. So, it was someone who did that. I get it. Was like, guy. it doesn't matter if you have a condom; you're still gonna get it. No, I wouldn't. When, when you're that. doing, like... Unless you have the he was, condom. No, he was a guy who was going... Because the other guy probably, guy. like, you know, let loose on him. My main account? Zero STDs. My good guy account? Zero STDs. My asshole account oh. has nine. <laughs> I, have, I, have I want to tell you, the way I, the way I figured it, when you catch one, at that point, you're kind of screwed. Catch them all. <laughs> Here's the thing, I love being a good person, on. and the first time I play it, I was good. But then I realized, in the end, I can't get achievements with the good guy. Nope. You That's why I, I have have to be no, no, you can get achievements by being neutral. That's what I did. I shot a lot of random innocents. I still helped some people. Stay neutral the whole time. Did you pay Ted the homeless person? I shot him. Who's Ted the homeless guy? In Fable 2, there's this guy in oh, Bowerstone okay. that's constantly sitting there at the bridge like this. His name was Ted. I kept giving him money. Because I found a glitch. You can have horns and a halo at the same time. Yeah. No, I gave him money the first time, and then when he asked me the second time, I yelled, fuck <coughs> you, shot him. <laughs> in Fable 3, the first person to come up to me and ask for cash, I looked at him and shot him. And like, I sat there, I'm just like, what did you just ask me? And he's just sitting there like this, I'm like, put your hands down. Put your hands down. Do you want to keep those hands? <laughs> I aimed at him, and he stood up, and I'm like, what, you're going to fight me? Do you remember our run through? And then I the Do you remember our run through of Fable 3? That was fucking hilarious. There'd be those The adventures assholes. of Jinzo and Santa Claus. Santa, no, anytime some little kid came up to me, I was like, who's the nearest person? Some kid would walk, like, some guy would walk by, and, like, he would just, you know how they'd just stand and look at you? I was like, what are you looking at? What do you look? Because I'd be a dick to the kid. And the guy would come up back in all Bravo, like, being a dick to that kid, now I'm trying to shoot the guy. The kid would just look at me, would just look at me. I shoot another person, the kid just fucking run. I shoot the kid. You can't kill the kids. You can't kill shot. kids. I love the no. first fable, and I hate the newer ones for this biggest reason. Mm, you can't fist fight anybody. Yeah. yeah. In the first fable, because you could just sit there and fist fight people, you were allowed to punch children. I <laughs> went horrible. Yeah. I, I went Fuck you, little <laughs> Timmy, and your fucking crush. <laughs> Fuck you. Why is that? A very I went. Old, old I went to a game for like a kid. I went little Timmy in in the very first Bowerstone of Fable: The Lost Chapter. It's just a little Timmy. I went to the school. Like, there was I'm this little kid now. that sat there and said something very messed up about my character just because I was a bad guy. Yeah. I beat this kid into a corner. <laughs> Like, I just punched him, and it kept pushing him back. I beat him into the corner, right next to the blackboard, and then I let him start getting out of the corner, and then I beat him into another <laughs> corner. I think another reason why, for Fable 3, I became a bad guy, just to get achievements too, is that the woman in the beginning, oh. she is the hottest character in the whole game. Who? In which? Fable, Fable 3. 3. The blonde chick? My biggest triumph. Sleeping with a prostitute and not getting an STD. That's a fucking achievement. <laughs> you slept with a whore and didn't get anything. Unprotected. I'm friends with a lot of whores, okay? I'm I sorry. Always, no, no, actually, I only used to call them once Street. in that game. I used it only once, and I still haven't gotten an STD. I want to do a little spoiler alert oh. for Assassin's Creed, for Ezio and all that stuff. It's not a big major one, right. but it's funny as hell. For, for my whole life and everything, This is I'm speaking to Ezio's behalf, my whole life I've been working with thieves, murderers, mercenaries, Horse. Yeah. 
<laughs> I've, been, I've been living under this rule. Now my sister's a They say I'm an assassin. I'm living a lie. <laughs> I'm working with these bitches. people. And now my sister's a whore. Did you fuck your sister? No, she's she is the head yeah. person of the, of the whore house. Of the she's whore bottom house. bitch. No, she's top bitch. She's the top. No, she's the with the way that pimps go, the number one hooker is the bottom bitch. <laughs> and yeah, I guess I yeah, Ezio is the pimp in a way because uh, he's the one that's. I'm gonna play over. the fuck out of this game when I get back. Good, eventually. Great. Probably Monday. Excellent. After work Monday, I'm going to Wonderful. I'm absolutely happy for you. I'm going to play the fuck out of it, then Brotherhood, then 3. Fantastic. When fucking 3, or no, Brotherhood, then 3. Yeah, 3 when 3 comes out, that's... I got a question for everybody. Has everyone played the original Assassin's Creed? Yes. Nope. Everyone? Yeah. I've played it, I never got one. Were were you guys confused as hell what the hell was going on in the end? Uh, no. You were not? No. You were not confused by the fact that you the whole time you've been battling people and like killing them with medieval and all suddenly this mystical sphere with of Eden of magical power just came along and now I'm fighting illusions and No. You were not. No. What? Head twist. <laughs> just, no, I wasn't surprised. It at was all. a good plot turning though. It was pretty good. I was very curious where it would go afterwards. And now I'm like fuck. No, I like I was trying to play like Revelations or something and I just, because I played through most of two, never beat it, played a, like the beginning of one. And you guys are and you guys are missing out on the what the fuck moments. In this. Well, okay. I'm missing a lot okay, because on, I'm like, I st- I started playing through it, I had no idea what was going on. The uh, the whole new, like, recruiting everybody, making fortresses, fighting and stuff, like, was completely, I just start. all I knew was, before was just running around kill people. Now there's all this new crap, and I was—I had no idea what I was well, doing. You know, uh, Literally every time. Hold on. Here's <laughs> the breakoff point for me. I will play the story for a while, and then for some reason, I will spend more time just fucking around in that right. game than playing let me, the story. Let me throw a little thing in. Two things. One, I didn't have a chance to play the other games, so I had to, you know, start from the beginning and work my way up. And two, like Sean says, especially with like Grand Theft Auto 4, which I have my hands on constantly. I have one achievement in that game: get off the boat. Five gamers where it's like the very beginning. I spent the moment I got a gun. <laughs> I felt empowered. I ran around <laughs> for hours just shooting people in Grand Theft Auto because can, that's all I had to do. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna have some fun now. For that oh, game, yeah, okay. I completed everything first just so that I have everything unlocked. That way, I can fuck around. What, what was, <laughs> what was, the, what was the I would fuck like, around until I got bored, and then I'm just like, okay, I gotta play some of this a little bit so I can get new shit. Well, Grand Theft Auto really, their storyline is it's great and all and all, but I rather boring. just fucking have no, fun. Like, no, and which is why, like, I give a because the, you go you go into like, the world of like um, Grand Theft Auto, and everything seems so much more serious. You go to Saints Row, everything's just a fucking joke. It's so much fun. <laughs> Testicular manslaughter. All right, anyways, like with Assassin's Creed, well, the reason why you guys need to complete it is because literally every time it gets to the end, you're going to be saying, "What the fuck?" Yeah, no, no. I said that the, after the first one. I, I agreed with how you're going to agree out. with it even more with but, the, uh, so, the second well, so one. I have yeah. to, so I have to ask the. Okay, who, who's the... Not any of the assassins, the dude that you, like, play as a... That's apparently, like, in the... In Desmond. The seat. Des, Desi Desmond, or whatever. Yes. Desmond. Uh, Desmond. Is he... Is he still, like... Is the Assassin's Creed the native dude? Call it. Yeah. Is he, like, the ancestor of Desmond again, or...? Yes. Yes. So he's still gonna be in the fucking seat. In the yes. Animal. Um, there so, are four known assassins that you, you'll see for, uh, like... Our ancestors of Desmond. Is the, is, is the girl in the PSP game also like? I have no idea. <laughs> it has not been established that she is connected with Desmond. That. No, that's a. I believe that is a side kind of story, an alternate bullshit. There are there is one character that's not in a game, but I don't really know where he came from. But apparently, it's, it's the me, it's Mario. the first it's the first assassin that uh, is Desmond's ancestor that was an assassin. It was like uh, fifty year fifty years uh, after. Birth of Christ in a way, I guess. You know, where you're a Roman guy and you're pretty much discovering the secrets of everything. And the, like the very first assassin kind of thing. They're, well, not kind the very first assassin. Well, his There's always his first assassin. ancestor that was an assassin. But I don't know where that came from. All I know is that there was one before that. Yeah. Can you imagine that, though? Like, going, like if your ancestors were an assassin, you'd be in a seat, you, you'd like have like these dreams of like you doing shit. You wake up and you all of a sudden know how to like fucking climb walls and do well, shit. Look, like he that. Also, it's like uh, total recall. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, well, there's also a uh, he. 
uh, Desmond was trained, quote unquote, the farm to be an assassin. Somewhat. Yeah, I was actually going to go with that. I'm more interested. I can care less about the other assassins in the Animus as much. I'm still very curious about Desmond's. I already know about oh, quite a bit about Desmond's history. I don't want to spoil that much, but you guys will find out throughout each time you play the game. You find just a little bit yeah. of his history. Yeah. You know, obviously you know about the farm and all that stuff. But yeah, it's the still, farm It's probably still a big one. mystery to you. Well, no, all it does in the first one is explain is that he was trained at the quote-unquote farm to be an assassin because he was supposed to keep it going and in A line. little bit. He was trained a little bit, but... With but the, he left. With the, a little bit of the knowledge that he learned while he was there... He managed to escape. But see, I don't see. Okay, what makes me wonder is in the first one is that you're trained, you're already, you're qualified enough to be a badass killer. In the first one, as Desmond himself, why the fuck are you still taking orders from that fucking scientist and shit? I would have just like stabbed with a pen. Fuck you. Wait, the chick? No, no, no. no, no. The, the man. Oh, you were okay. young when you escaped. You were probably about like seventeen. But you would still have the knowledge because he only looks not all 25, the knowledge. Twenty six. You do not have a whole lifetime. But of knowledge. he looks like he's well, hell, the basic person to stab someone. So he would have enough knowledge to stab, okay, the certain spot, stab him in the neck. And at one point, don't you steal his pen? Yes. Why not take his pen, jab it in his jugular, and be like, the pen was for, out. The pen was for a different reason. Well, so no, I'm just saying, but I'm just saying from a standpoint of he knows he's enough to kill someone, the basic person he's does. Saying he's saying he's getting He, doesn't want, he, he is, wants to find out, yeah. I understand he wants to cover all the bullshit that's going on. But I'm just saying from a standpoint of why not just stab that bitch and be like, I'm out, bitches, I'm out. He doesn't. The first game establishes that he does not want to become any part of this. Yeah. He did not want to become an assassin. He he was forced. When you, yeah, he was forced to. He was forced upon. He escaped with the knowledge that he knows a little bit. He doesn't know it completely how to be an assassin. He escapes. He doesn't really know much. He does not want to become this thing. He's not a killer. He does not consider himself a killer. Somebody that can't consider him a killer can't bring himself to kill somebody like Isn't that. Isn't like the whole like overall thing of Assassin's Creed like the whole storyline? They're trying to find the Apple Vine or something? They're trying to find pieces. I have a what happens when they get all the pieces? Scott, I have a question. It's it's off topic. You know, but why do you have fish pellets? <laughs> they oh contain like airbrush material and stuff. Oh, okay. Go on. Anyways, so what was your well, question? What happens when they get all the pieces of the Apple Vine? Like, thing is, they don't need all the pieces in. They just need one. Okay, thing what happens is, when they get one? They just want to be greedy. All right. Do they, like, rule the world or... All right, then I'll have to explain what the assassins and the Templars are trying to do. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Both groups want to accomplish world peace. Absolute world peace. In their own like different versions. means, though. No, it's, it all means the same. They all want everyone to be equal. They want everyone to not have being No, but I mean by different ways of doing it. Yes, exactly. I'm going to explain it. Okay. Each one of them wants to do that, but each one wants to do it in a different way. Templars want to do it by force, by control. If there is fear and a little bit of hope, there is control. And if they have ultimate control, then they will be they will accomplish world peace. Everybody will be as one with one dominant person to rule over it by ruling their minds. The assassins don't want to do that. They want to do it gently. They want to show it. Oh, yeah. They want to start from the ground to <laughs> The very top. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was I was to it. Sean's it's over here just like cracking up silently at what you said. Okay. I had to where, say it. Where did the assassins start? They started from the very bottom. They were beggars. They were poor. They were and poor. with their creed, they worked up, and they're eventually. <laughs> we stop pedal thrusting you two. <laughs> All right, so you understand what that's about right there. Now with the modern time thing, the assassins are being overwhelmed because Templars are now being coming more in power. They're in. They're gaining control over certain companies and very well-known companies. Absurgo, yeah. the one that you're trapped in in the first game, is a uh, pharmaceutical company. You can obviously understand where this can go with a pharmaceutical company. Yeah, yeah. With that pharmaceutical company, Absurgo also owns different branches of the company. And all around, they are connected throughout the whole world. And that's they, the modern-day Templar? And that's the modern-day Templar. Yeah. Now, to gain their ultimate goal, to have world peace by force... They just need one piece of Eden. Do they make like a hallucinogen and make everybody think they're happy? What no. what the uh, what a piece of Eden does? There's many different types of them, and they're all scattered around, and they're hidden in temples, and that's where they're trying to find. They're trying to find the temples. They had they had like the Apple of Eden one at one point, but then they lost, it, and over time it was recovered, and there was other ones. But uh, basically, what the Apple does, it creates illusions. It controls minds. It makes 
it manipulates people to what the other person wants them to see. So if they're looking for temples, why not just Google search image? Temples. <laughs> okay, there's temples. Okay, we'll, temples. okay, we'll go to there. this one. It's like, okay, okay, look at Apples of Eden. All right, Google. These are temples, temples that temples. are uh, underground, and they were bunkers, basically. You think of, like, uh, Fallout. They're those kind of bunkers, except alien advanced technology kind of temples. Oh, okay. Now, once they do find this piece of Eden, any one of them that they find, what they are going to do is that they're going to be taking that piece of Eden, and they're going to bring it to their world satellite, oh. and it's going to... Broadcast the piece of Eden signal. It's so it's going to be like a amplify- massive illusion yes. around the world. Remember how like the first game and all that stuff, like uh, your master pretty much controlled the whole entire town, the whole entire village, yeah. just because of how much range I think you can. Produce. Well, like, yeah, because if you think about it, if you ever climbed up up high, you would see how much fucking distance. Pretty much as far as I can see. Yeah, you're pretty much with that. He's been able to control the whole town. Put it with a satellite. It amplified the signal. Well, not only that, is they can control the world. There's so many satellites revolving around our planet Earth that you could bounce signals from each one to broadcast the same exact oh, yeah. one at the same exact time, and you would just broadcast the world. And the thing and is, though, is this thing? is the yeah. during the time of the Assassin's Creed One it is taking place during Nove- uh, was Nove- November. Was it November or it's, October? It's November. November Six. of 2012. So the point was that like. That the whole 2012 thing was going to be that they succeeded, or yeah, they, uh, no. well, I'm not going to go into that. But <laughs> they're bigger thing. You think that the Templars are all like just what I told you? That sounds like damn, they're evil. There is a bigger threat in this whole entire. The game. fuck is the bigger threat? My cock. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a huge threat. You man. have to play the game. You have to play the game. It is just magnificent how much... Well, I'm going to start with, I'm gonna start with number one, then, and work my way through yeah, it. Yeah, no, that, that's what I'd do, because uh, the first account that I ever used, I played the first one, and... No, see, I just I just jumped... It was easy. I jumped right into the second one, stuff without knowing anything. No, but... I was like, all right, the first cool. one, because it's nice, because the second one, the first 30 seconds, will ruin the first one instantly. I don't oh, remember the first one. Brotherhood. Uh, if you watch the first 30 seconds or so or a minute of that, it ruins the first... Well, there's always going to be an intro. Like, they're gonna, it's going to catch you up like, okay, oh, yeah, that's what happened. It's a cool. I didn't oh, need that because every, once I beat the first game, I just I already um, had the other game. I'm like, okay. I think wait, wait, can't you skip uh, that? Spoiler alert. Um, Wasn't it... I think, I think it's we're past that point. ...where uh, you are controlled by someone and they stab that ble- uh, the blonde chick? Oh, my God. You just ruined the ending. A brotherhood right now. I didn't say that. That was one of the what the fuck moments that I was talking but about. But see, I can be spoiled about the very ending and still play up to it. Yeah, you can, but uh. Spoiler alert! You always can plug your ears, David. That'd well, you, are you still gonna play the games? Well, yeah, and but it doesn't mean shit. Well, no, she, it, mean, it means she a lot. got hotter in the in brotherhood. Well, the graphics got, got better. She got highlights, a tit job, and no, she lost ten no, pounds. No. Well, I can blame that on. Uh, Unreal Engine. Every time I enjoyed the walks out. we had in the jiggle, dungeon jiggle, areas. Bounce, bounce. Uh, I like. I love it when she leads. Okay. Just watching her ass. You're like. She's like. Do you want to walk with me? No, I'll walk over here. I walk I'm behind you. I walk. Why you walk behind me? Oh, yeah, I, just, I want you to see if the cost is clear. Thing is, I'm, I'm telling. No, 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 just no, I'm tailgating to get a better draft. <laughs> so why are you falling behind me? Well, you think the thing is though that the game the game developers create a better engine so that way your ass looks better. And she'd be like, game developers? What are you talking about? Nothing, nothing. No, nothing. no. I'm just saying nothing. you look good. Oh, you said Microsoft's I'm Microsoft's doing a great job. EA is doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass is banging. And then just gets... <laughs> it's just that whole thing where you're, like, you're, 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 you're putting in like sliding marks. She's just like, what? What? For God's sakes, your ass is hot. <laughs> <laughs> For the love of God, bitch. Your ass. As then you start fine. typing, wow, wow. Why so are you telling me sound this? effects Let's bang. from old <laughs> pornos and stuff, like mid seventies pornos. Start playing that shit. She's like, "What's going on? What's this weird music? Don't worry, baby. It's all good." Superman. Shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like this? Don't worry. What we're about to do is just as controversial as the hot copy in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember that. <laughs> Dude, there was a huge like uproar about it. I still remember when everyone was looking for universal nude codes. Yeah. Well, who's not? Who's, not who's looking still for not looking for that? <laughs> the thing is, though, I realize that I have internet, though. 
Well, Rule 34, yeah. if it exists on the internet, it exists in the nude version. You know, it does. That rule is broken! Why? There are several things on that site that they're lacking. What? That is true. Why, why? I'd like to know what. For knowing purposes. Let's name something <laughs> that they probably don't have on there. Hey, since uh, I also want to bring something else up, since it is close to the end of the year, why not have awards for what we think is probably the best of this year? Of this year? Well, you also got to no, think... No, team presents our own awards, sir. <laughs> no, um, team best nudity scene. <laughs> <laughs> no, best intimate scene. You got to be classy. Uh, I don't know. I'd say for the best game, it's... Because we haven't even played some of the games that come out, so we have we have to wait. We still have time. A while. But I would I wait would until the final week of December. If, if I'm going to announce it now, I would say a huge toss-up between, of course, Halo Four. I'm a huge Halo fan. Assassin's Creed Three. Yes, well, no, that, that that I would say between those two, it's going to be my favorite. No, no, Probably I, 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 I like. Let me say something. Game with the biggest amount of hype. Yeah. Okay, that's different. Okay, that's what those they fall under. What I'm at. I thought you meant like best game overall. I'm like, wait, we have yet to see how Halo Four actually turns out. Black Ops Two comes we, out this year, correct? Yeah, but we don't yeah, know how Three Four Three is going to do with Halo Four yet. And as far as Black Ops Two goes, that looks cool. For now, my, <laughs> my for now the it's game I thought is the best game of the year so far. I'm not, I'm not yet find out yet <laughs> I don't for know, all the other games. Like, but right now, what? I think Mass Effect Three is the best game. I can't remember what's actually, come out this year. Actually, that that'd be a top five. That's a great game. It is. I seriously want you guys to play it because I I, well, I need to beat play it. it. Let me play. I don't even know the story. I need to play with your one, two, and three for. Oh, uh, you want to play a one? I'll play one. Yeah, because I'm not borrowing one. I'm borrowing Test Crew two. I'll, I'll play one the moment I figure out how to get out of that damn facility I'm in. <laughs> you look up a walkthrough. You got to look around. Yeah, you, you gotta look really around. It's fucking once walkthrough. you look around, you get to know your surroundings. I'm sorry. I got to that point where it was basically just me walking around for people to talk to me. I wanted to shoot somebody. <laughs> I have it's, a short attention. This is a story, man. It, it's a story game. It is completely a great, I love great, games magnificent story. story. Well, and the thing is, it. though, Bioware probably did screw something up right now what? with the game. You guys, like, you heard about the uh, indoctrination theory yeah. that they were talking about? I looked more into it. I didn't really believe in too much about it, but I found a video that talked about everything about it. Holy shit! You, you want to inform me about if this? If Bioware did not do a a Rebecca Black kind of moment there, they could have made the greatest story in gaming history. What do you mean Rebecca Black moment? <laughs> Since it was a parody in the beginning, and then all of a sudden it came up with money, they were like, "No, no, it's not a parody. It's an actual video." And they made money. Are you out of it. honestly making the Fu Manchu? I was just looking at your lip right now. I was like, what? <laughs> he's like looking at his mustache while we're well, talking about it. He's him. talking all serious. I'm looking at it. I was like, where's your mustache? It's it's just here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's I was, the I was just wondering about that. Hey, question. Do you have applications? Not here. They're at work. I'm going to burn you. The thing I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it's not me that's getting them. It's my mom. I'm going to burn your you mother. You fucking work there. Yeah, I work there, but I'm the lowest of the low. Of course you are. Bottom of the total point. Doesn't mean I, yeah. doesn't mean you can't go up to your boss and say, "Hey, I'd like to get, get the two, apps." Get two application though, forms. Like me and like her, we forget. Dude, I remind you the day before. Ever. You All want right. a job? There's an app for that. <laughs> 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 if you want a job, there's an app for that. Yeah. Right, let's call it at that. Off that lame that's ass it? joke. We Worst been, fun ever. Uh, <laughs> hour 20, we spent half of it talking about that uh, achievement challenge. Yeah, we spent oh, a good 30 Assassin's minutes Street. for that, yeah. yeah. So This is a full gaming podcast. Amazingly enough, yeah. It's well, funny it's in a way right now, like, Ash stuff. is borrowing a Mass Effect 3 right now, so he's probably going to be the first one to be talking about Mass Effect with... Why don't you talk to him about it? I, I am, I'm going to be. Don't talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> he sucks. Yeah. All okay. right. All right. Well, at least he <laughs> plays the game. At least he, you let him bar before me. You fuck. <laughs> I am trying to. <laughs> fuck you. I am trying to. And I just want to play the damn games to talk with you. Well, which game do you want to play first? Well, I'm gonna play Assassin's Creed because okay, I'm. Then you're not getting Assassin's Creed. You're not getting Mass Effect One then. Well, I'm I want Mass Effect One. Then. Do you want Mass Effect One? I want Mass Effect One, and then while he gets Assassin's Creed One or whatever, then I'll switch him. We'll switch out. All right. Yeah. So, all right. Let's end this podcast right now. Off that happy note, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Peace, right, Peace.